so look at why these rocks are suddenly the problem. What's the deal? I keep seeing this, and I keep thinking of Tommy Boy, David Spade's going, can we get a few more rocks in here? Uh, you're outside this weekend. Many of us did notice them swarming around, especially it was really mild on Thanksgiving night as temperatures were moving up. The moths are pretty harmless this time of year. If you see one flying, it's a male. If it doesn't fly, it's a female moth. Oh. And during these milder times, they're mating, they're laying their eggs. It's after that when they become a bigger problem. Uh, Pamela Gardner went straight to the experts at Lynch Landscape and Tree Service to find out what, if anything, you can do about them. Now, we've had a lot of warm weather this year and even kind of warmer, kind of a warmer autumn and fall. So you see a lot of moths out at night around the lights, the floodlights, uh, driving in the morning on the way to work, on the way home. And again, these moths that you're seeing now are harmless. But what'll happen is they're going through the mating process right now. And they'll start to lay eggs in the crevice of bark and trees. And then come uh, early spring, probably mid-April, depending on the temperature, you're gonna see these eggs start to hatch and become really small uh, green caterpillars and trees. The winter moth caterpillar is gonna start foliating trees and it really becomes a serious pest, a nuisance. So again, nothing you can do about it now. Just wait till spring and then we can actually go ahead and, and, and treatment options are available then. They have tried to come out with more environmentally friendly ones, ones that don't impact bees, trying to single out the ones themselves. If you remember last spring, when we finally got out of winter, especially on Cape Cod, these were everywhere. And they're seemingly harmless. They have those dusty little wings and they don't look that dangerous in your house, but well, they, they can be a pest. And in the springtime, sometimes there's so many of them, you can hear them munching. Sometimes oh. you can hear them doing their thing in the springtime. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't want them on the side of my house mating. It's like, grab the home already, all right? Yeah. Get the broken. Hey. <laughs> the the side of the house. Uh, but we'll be watching the story for you. Hopefully not too many around next spring. But if you look at November, our calendar, a lot of red squares on it for this month.